Hey guys, welcome back to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy, and you are joining me for one of our mini band series specials. Today, focusing in on those thighs for a full 15 minutes. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but believe me, we are gonna pack a lot in. So what do you need? You need a mat on the floor, a sturdy chair like mine, or you can move that mat to a steady surface. Just make sure you can see me when you do so. Grab some water and a sweat towel. And as always, please take care of you. This is your time on the mat, your workout. So if you're working with any injuries or you're coming back to fitness, then take a moment if you need it, then you jump back in. And as always, the band is optional. So if you want to simply remove the band, you will still get a great workout. Guys, let's move into the center of our space. As you do so, check that you can see me clearly. You're gonna step into your band, place it just above the knees, and then go ahead and take the feet just a little touch wider than your hips. Micro bending at the knees, drawing your spine tall. And then we'll start by breathing in. Catch your right wrist with your left hand and take a gentle side reach. Good, and then switch. So catch your left wrist, send it over to the right. We're gonna put that into a little stretch combination. So we squat down, we send it up, we catch the wrist and side reach. Good, squat down, knees over middle toes, send those arms high, side reach. Good, take it on the beat. We go down, up, reach. Down, up, reach. Nice, two more. Down, up, lengthen. Good, down, up. We're gonna take out that side reach. It looks like this, we squat, we rise. We squat, we rise. Now if it's too much to rise, just take it to a long leg, that's okay. Pulling up those kneecaps, driving those thighs longer, pushing hips, yes. Raising your heart rate, gorgeous. You've got four. That's three. That's two. Hold your balance. Find that stillness, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Catching a hold of your chair, placing it now just onto the front edge of your mat. So making sure that it's not gonna shift we're coming into a V shape, so heels together, toes apart. You are a forearms distance from your bar. Ooh, lost my band. <laughs> and then bend the knees and slice them down until they are over the middle toes and you've got a lovely big diamond. I love big diamonds, how about you? Yeah, let's make it bigger. Come all the way down. We drop an inch and hold. We drop an inch and hold. Now you're lifted tall. Think of that spine like a little weight through the little tailbone, and then a crown of the head growing taller. Good, now here's a top tip. Squeeze your heels hard together. It's like a little circuit. It's gonna pull up that pelvic floor and make this a very powerful abdominal sensation as well. Four more, three more. Little combo coming up, two wraps, one drop. You ready? It goes wrap, wrap, hold, drop, hold, wrap, Wrap, hold, drop, hold. I am really specific. It's one inch, down, hold. Don't go anywhere. We're not going up. Right knee down. Four more here. It's wrap, wrap, drop, hold. Maybe take hands to prayer. Wrap, wrap, drop, hold. Are those abs tight? Wrap, wrap, drop, hold. We're taking it to those wraps. Just hold it as low as you can. We wrap 10, nine, thighs on fire right away. It looks so small. That band looks so nice, right? Oh, uh -huh, yeah, here's that burn. Let's welcome it in. Four more here. It's four, three, two. You're gonna shift your weight into your left foot and then drive that right leg up. It is a bent leg position, we call it attitude. So we're gonna slice it into the back of the left ankle, and then as we slice it up, we get that glute. So it goes in and up, in and up. Now add a slice down with the left leg. So it goes in, slice hold, in, slice hold. Oh my gosh. Good, are you growing tall? So the body can slightly pitch forward to accommodate the leg. You should not be feeling your lower back. So keep those abs supporting. Four more, three more. Exhale, breathe it out. Two, I know it's turning. Last one, hold it there. Little lift to the back leg. So we're getting some added glute work. And then starts to slice that left leg down. Slice and slice. So it's like a little bent pair of scissors, if you can picture that. Good, we're stepping into fourth position very shortly. Eight more counts, it's eight slice. Seven, get low, six, yes. Five, four, 
three, two. Set your left foot in front, right foot back. So I'll show you that in front. Toes are aligned and then lower your heels just a touch. Start to wrap again, wrap and wrap. So fourth position, your weight is evenly distributed between both feet, your spine is nice and tall. We take it two down, two up, it goes down for two. This is brutal, I'm not gonna lie. It's down for two and up, I feel it too. I am with you every step of the way, silver liners. Let's take four more here, it's four. Light hands, maybe test your balance at the top. Three, good, no hands, two, Sliding up and down that glass wall, that imaginary length. Now hold it there, lift the back leg again, pitch forward a touch, final push. It's a little lift, it's a slice, and a slice, and a slice. Good, you're nearly out on this side. <laughs> yeah, you've got 10. Could you raise that standing heel a little higher? Slice it out for eight, seven, six, and five. Lovely, four, three, two. Quickly spin your chair around. Grab the front, send the legs back. You take a little pull and pull. This is your intermission. Aha, we're just taking a gentle little mountain climb. Climbing that mountain to fitness together, silver liners, good. You've got pull, pull. Do you want to speed it up? Be my guest. Aha, I love that beat. When it drops, 10, nine, eight, doesn't matter if that band moves. Six, five, four, three, two, and press back. Whew. Second side, second fun. We're gonna place that chair again, round the way where you get the high back, and then go ahead and reset. So, heels together, high if you can, toes apart, slice it down. We take one drop, one lift. Little day change in choreography, same sensations. You want that press of the heels, that beautiful big diamond, knees slicing over middle toes, spine is tall, Shoulders down. You can get through anything, because you're a silver liner. Uh -huh. And we breathe. Reset. Mm -hmm. Know that you can do this. You already did the first side, right? Mm -hmm. So let's get lower. Good. Hold it low, little wrap one push. It's wrap hold, wrap hold, down hold. Wrap hold, wrap hold, down hold. On tempo, wrap, wrap, drop hold. Test your balance. Ha ha. Now, if your balance isn't there today, don't worry. Every time we come back to these workouts, we're gaining strength and stability in order to get lower, get deeper. You never plateau, but you do get stronger. I promise. Last one. Maybe take those hands to prayer. Let's wrap it. 10, nine, get lower, eight, seven. Yes, easy shoulders in three, two, one. Hands to chair, weight into right foot. Left leg floats up into that mini attitude. Slight forward pitch. We bring it into the ankle. It's in, it's up. On tempo. In, up. At a slice of that right leg. It's in, it's slice. It's in, it's slice. You've got four. Three, gaze up and over that chair. Two, make it a long, beautiful spinal position. Hold it there. Little back leg lift. Get that glute. Little front knee slice. Yes, you've got 10. Fourth position in your near future team. Five, four, three, two. Set the left foot in line with the right and then lower the heels. Slice the knees down. Let's get those wraps going on. Hips are square, knees are to the corners. Be really mindful of your positioning. Taking it up and down for two. Down for two. Now this is the brutal bit, but you can do it. Yes, down, down. Go to your basement, wherever that is for you. Watch the knees. If you get any tweaking, take the band off, yeah? Down, down, up. Just two more. Down, down. Then we return to that attitude. So strong. Good, stay there. Back leg lifts. We go slice it, slice it. We are out of here in 10, nine, eight to the chain, seven, you can. This is four, three, two. Flip that chair around. Over cross mountain climber for those who wish. It's pull, 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 pull. If that feels too pacey, slow it down, make it work for you. Pull, aiming opposite knee to forearm, or maybe even elbow. 10, nine, good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one. Push that chair out of the way. 
sit down. Quick transition, band comes over the arch of your foot. Very short set. We're gonna point the toes, we're gonna get tension on our band, roll back until the hands are just behind you on a diagonal. If you're new to leg lift, you can rest on your forearms, hollow your abs, right leg lifts. Up for two, down to a hover. Again, pretty brutal, but very short, very doable, and it's gonna give you that beautiful lifted lengthened quadricep. Up and up, your kneecap as well, tone it. Yes, you can see it now. And those abs are also working, good. Let's go on tempo now. So it goes lift, lower. Now the hands are pushing gently. If you're feeling your wrists, maybe come to the forearms or make a little fist. If you want more hands to prayer, good. We're gonna flex and point in four, three, two, hold it. So let's flex those feet, flex, point. So you're just holding that right leg lifted, static hold, isometric hold. Four more here, you've got this four. Beautiful team. Three, maybe hands to prayer now if you haven't already. Two, point the toes. Option to reach the arms, little lift up, little lift up. It's so strong. We're only here for 10. Nine, keep reaching. Eight, seven, easy shoulders and face, my friends. It's four, it's three, it's two, it's one. Beautiful roll down. Little intermission, bring your legs to tabletop, flex your feet, hands behind head. We squeeze, we squeeze. So I'm keeping you moving, getting a brief interlude here to really work the core for 10, nine, eight, pushing away any negativity. You only have that second side to do for five, four, three, two. Bring your hands behind your knees, rock on up. Guess what, one final side, let's get them. Point the toes, separate so you have tension on the band. Tuck your pelvis, maybe hands diagonally or on those four arms. Just a reminder of that modification. Left leg lifts, up for two, down for two. So it's all about control. Simultaneously, that upper body nice and easy. Gorgeous breath. Exhale lift. So this looks so easy, doesn't it? It is not. You know that at home because you can feel my pain. I feel yours. Two more. Good, last one. Hold it there, single count. We go lower, squeeze, lift. And when I say squeeze, you're thinking of length rather than height. And it might be that today your knee needs to be soft. That is okay. Next time it's gonna be one inch longer. You've got two more. Last one, hold it high. We flex, we point. Can you activate abs again? You've got four more. Three, final push, maybe hands to prayer, two. Maybe then arms reaching high. It's a lift and a lift. It's a reaching for your goals. It's eight, seven, breathing six and five. Give me a smile, four, three, final push on one. We're gonna take it all the way back down again. Flex those feet, hands support the head. Twist, twist, hold, twist, twist, hold. I love the bicycle. Such a great way to get beautiful abdominals, strong, lean, and rip, let's go. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hug on one. Ladies and gentlemen, you have made it. Let's come on up. We're gonna come to standing. So you can release your band, grab your chair, and let's do a nice standing stretch. So for those of you who are keen runners, we're gonna just hone in on the technique here. Feet parallel, grab your right ankle, not your foot. See if you can bring your knees to touch. Soften your standing leg, tuck, and then push your leg back. That way, you will get a true stretch, almost from the top of the oblique down and into the knee, rather than this, which is what I see in the park. So, you know, choices. <laughs> Good, breathing into it. Send the leg back, stretch the calf briefly, and then we'll switch sides. Good, so, catch the right ankle, Draw the knees to touch. Already you're probably feeling a stretch. Tuck under, soften that standing leg and then press that leg back. There's only about a couple of degrees here of actual stretch available. And you'll feel this radiating, yes? Breathe into it, my friends. The deep breath of success. Good, final stretch, let's run into that calf stretch. Ah, beautiful. Bring the legs back, forward fold into that L shape, just a couple of little knee bends. Finding your ease through the shoulders as well. And then when you're ready, roll on up, giving yourself a huge round of 
support, supports even, and thank you for joining me today at Silver Linings. If you do have a moment to head on down and subscribe, we'd be so grateful because it means that we can keep making those workouts that make you feel amazing. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you back on the mat very soon.